All right, grab your cameras, and if you uh, don't have a camera, uh, we're going to learn all about that right now. We're going to get some great lessons here because this is cool. Jeff Cable in the house right now, uh, an Olympic photographer. My favorite. Go, he jumps in the bobsleds. He's in the bobsled. He's getting the shots. Maybe not that far, but he's not that far. Not that far. That'd be pretty cool, though. Welcome it would be cool show. and this dangerous. Is, this is really neat. Welcome. Thank you. So Good to be here. What did you get into uh, grabbing the camera and shooting amazing things? Uh, it's been about, about 20 years ago, I got into photography, a little bit more than that. I uh, did my first Olympics in 2008, got totally hooked, Yeah. Um, and have done pretty much every one since, except for Beijing because of COVID. I sure. avoided that. Uh -huh. um, heading to Paris coming up, that'll be number eight. Yes. Hey, you got the shirt on, too. Got the shirt already, on. already rocking Look at these pictures. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so can you describe even what it is like to be not just taking photos of the best athletes on the planet, but just, I would assume, just being part of everything it has to just be an no, it's awesome. Event. Yeah, it's unbelievable. The first time I did it, I had to pinch myself, and now each time I do it, I still get blown away that I'm there. But yeah, it's amazing. It's a ton of work. We start eight or nine in the morning, go till like three in the morning every day. Oh, wow. Um, so it's like three weeks of just craziness, and then yeah, then you, I come home and sleep for like a week. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> a week straight. Yeah, it's crazy. We're looking at all these amazing pictures, like uh, like me when you know when I was just jumping over the hurdles right yeah, there. Right. How how do you ca how close are you to the action? We were actually with the athletes, so a lot of times they they restrict when we can go in and out of a venue because yeah. we're with the athletes. So, like when we do in the Winter Olympics, when we do things like short track speed skating and stuff and figure skating, the athlete, we walk in with them. So, and during COVID, obviously they wanted as far from the athletes as we could. But yeah, we're right there. Um, we have the best seats in the house with the best athletes in the world, best backgrounds oh. and everything. And it is, um, yeah, it's totally exhilarating. And it, like, you live on this adrenaline rush for three weeks yeah. of just going crazy. And I, uh, we saw that you're you're blogging some of this experience too, so that it's not just because obviously pictures do can tell you know use a thousand words telling the picture, but also you being able to write about your experience, I assume, is just fantastic. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, I, so I started my blog in Beijing in 2008. I think I had 10 readers. It was probably my <laughs> my mom, my you know whatever. And um, and now the blog gets about 100,000 readers a month, and during the Olympics it goes to over half a million. And I, I try to blog every day, like what I shot, how I shot it, cool. or some of the behind the scenes craziness. Um, sure. You know, uh, opening ceremonies in Beijing. I bit into a hot dog before the opening ceremonies and something was in the hot dog and I was sheared off half my tooth. Stop. What? And, and I shot the entire Olympics with half a tooth because I didn't have time to fix it. So like craziness like that, some of the fun stories that go along with it. Yeah, nuts. That's cool. Look at that, wow, how do you capture that? That's amazing. And you know, you get the joy, you get the gold, you get the bronze when they're, when they're on the podium. Uh, um, how many, like, how many, I don't know if you, you hit this, but how many are you taking throughout Shots? that whole time you're there? Oh, yeah, like yeah. 10,000, no, 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 probably 80,000 throughout, yeah. Probably, there's times where I'll shoot, I, I think I've shot up to 8,000 images a day. And you couldn't do this with film, like with digital, we're firing off. So uh, I'm sponsored by Canon, I use Canon cameras. Right. And you know, they're shooting at like 15, you know, 16 frames a second or faster. So when you're shooting a typical, like let's say a water polo game, I'll shoot up to 3,000 images. And my deadline is 14 minutes. So I've got 14 minutes to go through 3,000, find the best oh, 10 or so. How on earth do you do that? You just move fast. Wow. So I use, I use the fastest Mac laptop. I use fast memory cards. Sure. I use fast camera, and then drink a lot of Diet Coke to my brain going. <laughs> and you just haul through them. How about and try that to find one? The Greatest best gymnast one. of all time. Look at that, Simone yeah, Biles. Yeah, that shot there it was one of my favorites because you could tell on the smile she had that she yeah. knew she, she won knew gold. She was winning. Yeah, they won gold at that point. Well, that's right where you look back and you said, Simone, look back, and then she went back. She actually, right back. and she looked at you and smiled. There, I, there was one <laughs> shot. I don't know she if you show it, but there was one shot where she had to bow out in Tokyo because oh, yeah. of psychological reasons. Yeah. And she was like, probably from the distance you are from me. Yeah. And um, I had a, a 70, 200, and I was right in her face. And you could see the tears in her eyes. Oh. And it was like a really poignant moment. But yeah, uh, yeah I mean, so as you said, we're really close to them. Uh, it's really exciting. It's fun. I mean, it's, yeah. uh, it's a labor of love for sure. You get the spins when you do, or what's it called? What did they call it? The spins? No, what was it that Simone was had going on that she? Oh couldn't? yeah, it was, that, oh, yeah. Was, that was what it was, and that's why she had it. And yeah. you get that on the show. On the too. show, yeah. you yeah. get that. It's like I still get it when I'm behind the camera. Sure. You yeah. know? Yeah. Uh, I want to know: Is there like so the tooth, the hot dog versus tooth story is a good one? Uh, <laughs> is there another one? All these years, all these Olympics, there's got to be just some wild stories. Yeah, every Olympics has them. Uh, some are more treacherous than others. I had one in Pyeongchang for the Winter Olympics. A guy who was rooming we had like a four bedroom place i didn't know the guy and he lost his keys he was kind of borrow yours so i loaned, lent him my keys to get out of the building and come back in and my credentials were on there my shooting sleeve which if you don't have a sleeve or a vest yeah. you can't shoot and he lost it 
And so I thought, okay, I'll just get a replacement. Well, you can't. Like, getting a replacement is like basically reapplying for credentials for oh, the Olympics. God. So they said, well, it could take 48 hours or more. And I'm like, I have to shoot in four hours or whatever. And so it was this crazy situation um, of stress. And luckily at like midnight, this one person at the press center, this amazing Korean woman called me. Don't worry, we have your, we'll get a new one for you tomorrow so I can sleep. But like this, every Olympics, whether it's Zika virus scares or, um, you know, political turmoil or traffic yeah. or whatever, there's Some always stories. issues. Yeah. Yes. And, and so, you know, and right now there's a lot of unrest in Paris and there's a lot of talk about that. But I don't let that affect me. I just like, you just gotta go, gotta tune it all out. And, and you gotta shoot. go take pictures of the greatest swimmer of all time. Look at look at the water just coming off him. So clear, so awesome. Have you, have you like, oh my God, that's a great shot. You're ready to capture it. You shoot it and you realize the lens cap is on. No, nope, never done it. <laughs> okay, uh, all right, good. You know, the good. good news is with these newer cameras, you know, but I mean, <laughs> I, but I do feel the pressure of shooting for sure. sure. Like, yeah. you know, because when you're shooting against, with 2,100 other photographers, there's a ton of pressure to not only shoot and get the shot, but get something different like this shot here, where I shot, this is actually from 20 rows up, looking down, but wow. you know, he comes up so high in the water. So like, I have to find unique positions and, and shoot differently and try to um, set myself apart and do something different for the team. You know, I'm always pushing myself yeah. to get something better. Yeah, I can imagine the the lens cap is good. That's a yeah. Funny, that's what I, I would think it'd be more like, man, I hope I got that. I hope I got that. Oh, that, got that happens. I mean, for sure. Like when um, when the game is on, like it's a gold medal match, comes down the last couple of minutes. I have to get not only the action, but the reaction, right? Yeah. So the guys in the pool or on the ice or where I am, but also the reaction of the people of on the course. bench. And so it's a lot of pressure to make sure that I can tell the story because a photographer's job is to tell a story and in images. And if you miss it, if you, you miss, miss it. it. I, yeah. I think about that all the time. I hate to get melodramatic, but like <laughs> these people, everyone involved, Four years. You, everything is being done for this one moment yeah. for four years. One moment in time, exactly. Yeah, and I, I do it every two years because I'm doing winter and summer. Winter, so, winter, okay. But the pressure's there every time. Um, but that's what like, fuels me, right? I, I love yeah. showing up. I, and, I, and I totally appreciate the fact that there's very few credentials in, in the U.S. That's or in right. the world. So to be able to be there, I don't take that lightly. This image is one of my favorite images ever, that fencing yeah, shot. Yeah, fencing that. was That's cool. a multi-exposure shot in the camera, not Photoshop. And right. did I burst off four images just to oh. get that shot. But you know, reactions like this, you can't fake. And my job is just, to, how do I find that? How do I capture it and uh, and deliver it quickly? So you know, with social media now, my deadlines used to be, you know, four hours, yeah, eight hours. That evening. Yeah, and now they're like, boom, we want it now. Okay. Because they want to be able to say, hey, Team USA is up over Russia, two to yeah, one. Yeah come join us for the second period. They want to blast it on social, so the pressures are crazy now. So when, when Gary and I are doing synchronized diving down at the uh, at the local pool, do you feel like, I feel, I mean, our, our routines are good. I move fast, good. I'm not sure he'll be able to get me. because Well, I don't want to break my lens either. Yeah, I'm a fast true. mover under you the are, water. You are quick. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to see what it looks like underwater either. Clearly, no. you two have been <laughs> drinking red wine. <laughs> yes, a goblet of red wine. Hey, we just got a few seconds left. You yeah. also do wildlife, the, do. the comparison oh, yeah. between the sports and the wildlife. Yes, yeah, so I do photo tours all over the world. So I teach, yeah. I take people here from the U.S. So overseas, yeah. Africa, Costa Rica, all these places, uh, Indochina, we're doing one in Peru coming up. And so, yeah, I mean, it's similar because it's fast action. Um, I have a huge passion for photography, so I think that passion lives to, to whatever, yeah. regardless of whether it's sports, wildlife, whatever. And I love sharing that passion with other people and teaching, so Look yeah. at that, sloth. sloth. Gary moves fast in the pool, that's how I move in the pool, right? There you go. Yeah, well, well, well you know. Slow movement. That's kind of my movement as well. I love it. Yeah. Chef, honor to meet you, man. Good luck Thank in you. Paris Appreciate be safe. Get all the shots. We'll Thanks. be watching. We'll be reading the blog now. Okay, perfect. So don't yep. Blog.jeffcable.com. Every day cool. I'll be blogging. So Look at that. There you uh, go. There's all that info you need. Follow along on Facebook and Instagram, too. Good work. And you can get some shots of wine and cheese when you're in Paris, too. That's okay. Yeah, you know, bring those back. A little bit of bread. All right. You know, do those kind of things. Beret. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> all of it. I don't know. I haven't been in Paris, but that's all right. <laughs>